For this project, I'll be taking on the role of an office coordinator, and I'll apply what we've learned about the sidebar and sharing to build an office manual page for a physical office location. As usual, we'll focus on one specific example today, but the workflow can be applied to any sort of document publishing. Our goal here is to create a guide for Acme's global employees to use when visiting a new office, or for new employees who might be coming into the office for the first time. This document is everyone's source of truth for accessing information, Wi-Fi, transportation, and any fun office traditions that you might want to share. As usual, we'll start by creating a private page to get all of our notes down on paper first, without sharing with teammates. Use the plus sign to add a page to the private section of your sidebar and create your draft. Since the focus of this lesson is on sharing and team spaces and not content creation, I'll pre-populate this with a bunch of information. Address, what to do before you visit, Wi-Fi info, some pictures, health and safety guidelines, snacks, and much more. Let's pretend that this is our rough draft. Before publishing broadly, I would probably want to share with a collaborator, like my manager, to request specific feedback. When I do that, I can also add a note to explain why I'm sharing and decide what level of access to give them. If you want them to be able to share the page, grant full access. Otherwise, you can decide between giving them edit access or comment only access. For this type of document, we typically suggest adding a quick note and giving full access, since it isn't super sensitive content. For something that requires more discretion, like the 360 review SOP that we created in another lesson, it might be best to default to can edit access and upgrade only when needed. Once I hit share, I see the page move from the private section of my sidebar to the shared section. Whoever I shared it with will see the page appear here as well, and they'll also get a notification that I shared it with them. Note that notifications are only sent if you share a page directly with an individual, not when you add a group or change workspace access. Now that it's here, I can pin it to keep it visible in my shared space or add it as a favorite using the star in the upper right-hand corner to keep it top of mind. My collaborators will be able to add comments and we can use the page comment feature to add general feedback and decide when the page is ready to be published to everyone. Once all of my reviews of this page are done, I'll share it to the whole company using the move to action and put it into the appropriate team space. In this case, this doc belongs in the general team space, filed alongside other office manuals. The permissions for this will be based on the team space permissions. So anyone who is a team space owner will have full access and team space members will be able to view the page. I could talk to the team space owners if I needed to change that, or I could change the permissions on this page specifically by just modifying the level of access from this share menu. It's important to note here that I moved this page instead of sharing it with all members of the workspace because I wanted it to live in the general team space, not in the shared section of each workspace member's sidebar. Shared sections can get messy quickly, so we encourage people to put all pages in relevant team spaces as soon as it makes sense. Another neat thing that we can do here, if you wanna be able to share the page with new hires before they've joined, or with potential candidates if they're coming into the office for an on-site, is toggle share to web on. This generates a public link that you can share with those folks. You can even make it so that the link expires after 24 hours if this is information that you don't want to be broadly available. Again, just make sure to adjust the settings for SEO and template duplication accordingly. That's it for now. 